awake now. Emma listened to Courage's slow, rhythmic breathing beside her. It was five in the morning, her normal waking time, but she stayed in his bed a while, smiling, as she thought about last night and how much fun she had had with Courage. It had been quite unlike her proverbial first time many months ago, when Courage had repeatedly asked her before, during, and after the act if she was okay. Emma had said yes, which was true. But she had wished it could have been more than just okay. Now that she had gotten to that point, she was happy with it. Was she the new Emma? Well, in this regard, yes. She had long carried something of an obsession with remaining a virgin until marriage, but lately things had changed. Emma and Courage had grown much closer to each other on an emotional level during the coronavirus pandemic. Thereafter, Emma had become more comfortable with Courage physically. Then one Sunday morning in church as she listened to a priest's sermon declaring what was godly and what was sinful, a light bulb went off in her brain and she realized something. First, she had been unconsciously absorbing this virginity rule without ever questioning it. And second, as the priest continued in his mellifluous baritone, it struck her that virginity was a male fetish wrapped tightly around another male fetish called purity. Emma was certain that whoever originated the concept of virginity was a man. Now she was looking for a new, more modern and open-minded church she could join. That would represent another change for her as she drifted away from the Catholic Church. Its luster had faded for her, dovetailing with a slowly evolving view of sex and the freedom to have it. She rose to shower. When she emerged from the bathroom, Courage was awake but still in bed, scrolling through his phone. He looked at her and smiled. You okay? She nodded. Yes, I'm good. And you? Yeah. Slept very well, 